agriculture is very important to North Carolina, so much so that the state is home to two land-grant universities, one in Greensboro and one in Raleigh. Both schools are all about teaching practical agriculture, science, and engineering as set up by Congress in the 19th century. These universities, including North Carolina A&T State University, teach the art and science of agriculture, not only in the classroom and lab, but also on university-maintained farms. At North Carolina A&T's farming operation, the emphasis is on providing research assistance to farmers with smaller farms. Ag students at the school help with day-to-day -day operations at the farm and also work on research projects. I have such a strong passion for animals. I knew this was a school where I could learn and be educated about animals and have the hands-on experience I needed for my future goals. And now I think that I'm ready for the next step as far as veterinarian school. Um, a large part of what we do is uh, improving small or low-income farms. And uh, so the part of that research which I get to participate in the most is uh, I get to uh, com convert all these agricultural residues and uh, products into usable fuels. This particular unit is utilized for residence instruction. It is utilized for research as well as extension activities, demonstrations, particularly trying to reach out with small farm. In addition to physically running the farm, A&T's efforts key on getting research results learned on the farm out to the farmer. Our main objective is to be instrumental in helping the small, the limited resource and minority farmer. So the research that we are doing here is a big part of that process. But our emphasis, our impact is to try to make sure that we are doing something that will make the smaller farmer be profitable and then more productive. We do work with Extension to bring farmers to the campus. And when they come to our campus, they'll actually be able to see more than what's written down what kind of things we're working on. So sometimes our farmers are better able to learn by seeing and doing than what you write down on a piece of paper. Livestock raised and studied at the A&T farm include beef and dairy cattle, hogs, poultry, and meat goats. Uh, we supervise uh, the research that, uh, that is being done here. We show the students how to manage a operation on a daily basis. Um, uh, also, they get experience on uh, a uh, uh, outdoor farm uh, sow system, uh, something that uh, this is what A&T's farm emphasizes on uh, pasture pork uh, production. At the dairy unit, we're, right now we run kind of like a grass-fed operation. Uh, for the farmer, what we do is we try and do uh, grain, uh, weight, average daily gains, things like that, so we can cut grain cost, uh, pasture management, so you can grow a good animal, produce a lot of milk off grass, and cut your, your grain cost, in turn saving the farm some money. There are also many specialized horticultural crops that are studied. Presently what you're looking at here, we're looking at in the late season organic high tunnel production of tomatoes. And you know, we're trying to get small farmers out of the mindset from traditionally planting tomatoes in May or April, April or May, just to um, sequentially plant it so you have a more sustained, longer period of production. We are targeting very small farmers who own one acre to ten acres. But still, we have a good number of farmers here in North Carolina who are retirees from uh, tobacco growing. They are looking for something alternative. We think pecan being in, in North Carolina tree will be a very good fit for them. It's all about diversity, from livestock to tomatoes to exotic trees, even rice and crawfish. All are raised and studied here at the North Carolina A&T Farm, always with the small farmer in mind who wants to keep his land productive. I think what's important as we look at our land-grant school and our purpose here is that we're trying to stay connected to our communities. So education is going to be important, so economics is important, environmental sustainability is going to be important, so the farmers get a sense of what we're doing here in North Carolina, and specifically in A&T.